Good morning and welcome back to another video and today we will be going down the five best professions in 8.3. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Now coming in at first is cooking. Now cooking has made its way back thanks to the new raid and the horrific visions. Now the things that you want to be doubling down on when it comes to wards cooking and that is your horrific visions buff food. Now this can be obtained by killing any of the cultists from the invasions so to speak in the Vale of Eternal Blossoms and in Uldum. Now this can be done by killing any of the acolytes of Nenzoth or ends off, or however you want to pronounce it. Most of the buff food stuff can be actually farmed up through fishing and also through the dredge leather farms, as you'll be needing questionable meat from the dredge leather farms, and you will and you'll also be needing the amaranth void fins and and the malformed gnashers. Now these can be farmed up through fishing and. It's pretty easy to do, you just find a spot in the river where you're not going to get attacked every five seconds and just fish up a load of stuff throughout like an hour and then start crafting the food. The best ones that I'm finding at the moment that sell the best is the Kebab and also the Ghastly Goulash. These ones tend to be selling really really well on the auction house and as opposed to that the other materials that you farm up through the fishing ability and the dredge leather farms actually sell respectively quite well just selling the materials for those cooking recipes equally as fast. Just depends on how much gold you want to do if you want to add, if you want to cook the stuff and then make a little bit more gold on top of that it is totally up to you. But with that being the case, the other thing that you should really double down on when it comes to cooking is feasts. Now, thanks to the new raids, horrific visions and all of that jazz, feasts are still in high demand as of this moment and it is worth you doubling down on the different types of feasts that you can cook through your cooking. These will sell relatively fast, due, and most especially and most importantly, reposting a ton of these on reset day as you will be one as raiders will be wanting to get a hold of these pretty much instantaneously and for their raiding so they can actually have the buffs so to speak so posting a load of them on reset day is a great way in order to make a load of gold at this moment in time when it comes towards cooking me and number two is tailoring now tailoring is a great me is a great profession overall at this moment in time because it has a great way in order to get a hold of Expulsum and we'll get into that in a second. The first thing of note to make a decent amount of gold with tailoring is crafting the uncanny gear. Now an uncanny gear is pretty damn easy to get a hold of and it requires a lot less materials as it once would of. Now the uncanny gear, your best crafted gear at this moment in time and making sure that you can at least get it to rank 2 or rank 3 will obviously increase your profits for crafting these gears. I don't recommend crafting them at rank 1 but you can if you want to but a little side note is make sure that you get them up to at least rank 2 or rank 3 just because you can make more profit overall and they do tend to sell rather fast as everyone is gearing up their alts for the next expansion and doing all of that type of stuff in order to, so they can get into like horrific visions and uh, the new raid so to speak with all. Aside from that, tailoring is a great method in order to get hold of Expulsum. That is because of the tie spray braces that can be crafted at a very very cheap way and then sent over to any of the characters that they have they can then scrap multiple of these in order to make a load of expulsum so they can use it to craft loads of other stuff. This is why I put it at number two on the list is because the other ones will require a load of expulsum so it's worth to note that having tailoring at this moment in time is probably one of your best bets in order to get hold of a 10 ton of expulsum for your crafted gear. Coming at number three is a tried and true method with jewel crafting. Now this one is panther mounts. Now panther mounts do vary on price wise because a lot of people do farm them, they do multi-box farms for the ghost iron ore, but panther mounts still sell for a relatively high, a relatively decent amount of gold even though you don't make a hell of a lot of gold off of one mount but by having multiple of these on the auction house it is still a very good tried and true method in order to make gold because you're selling mounts. Now another way in order to make gold with your panther mount is by getting hold of the recipe for the onyx panther and that is by using four or 
all four of the other panthers and then combining them together to make that one mount. I find this one to be a great flipping one because as the other panther mounts can be produced at a very cheap price, the other the Onyx Panther tends to sell quite highly. So it is maybe worth your time buying all of the ones that you need and then crafting the Onyx one and then selling that on the auction house for a profit. This does take a large investment to do, so I will leave that up to your own discretion. Now, along with dual crafting, we have the I-Level 400, and that is the staff. Now, I would recommend that you either have rank two or rank three, obvious reasons, for crafting the dual crafting staff. These sell relatively fast in the grand scheme of crafted items. They tend to sell rather well, especially at this moment in time, everyone's gearing up their alt, and it, because of the same reasons, tailoring the uncanny stuff, the uncanny staff for dual crafting is still a very, very good and viable method in order to make gold thus far. I've had no notable reports from a load of people on my Discord saying that it is selling rather well. At this moment in time, it's going from anywhere from around about 15,000 to like 30,000 gold for one staff. And at rank three, the materials are very, very minimal. So even if, even if you buy all of the materials off of the auction house, and just craft it that way. Now, lastly, for dual crafting, I would recommend is mass prospecting or prospecting in general. Obviously, in the worth it add-on, we have the prospecting module, so you can see if you can make a profit with these. The ones that tend to make the best profit on the fast note, so faster sell rates and faster gold, is Osmonite Ore, Monolite Ore, and also Fell Slate. Provide either past gems for Legion or BFA, which respectively will sell faster than Legion ones and is probably your safest bet to make gold as most of the ores at the moment are relatively low. So be sure to double check this before you actually do a mass prospect through the Worth It add-on or through TSM's method through their professions. And also it's just a very quick way in order to maximize the amount of gold you're making when when you're using dual crafting overall. Now coming at another four is enchanting. Now, now enchanting is a great way in order to make gold, not only just by running your heroics and your diff and your horrific visions and just doing all of your world quests for random bits of gear and then disenchanting that to make additional gold. We have a few other things that you should be doubling down on if you have enchanting. Now when it comes to enchanting, raid buffs are brilliant. And when I mean raid buffs, it means basically get hold of crafting only the enchants that are used predominantly for raiding for dps tanks and healing i would much rather double down towards the weapon enchants they tend to sell the fastest and they do seem to be the best at this moment in time for profit now i would recommend that you always have enchanting to have your enchanting at rank three for any of the ones that you're crafting so this may take a little time in order to get all of these enchants, but it's well worth the wait in order to get hold of those rank threes to make the maximum amount of profit you can. Now, combined with tailoring, you can also use this to disenchant the Tide Spray Braces instead of getting Expulsum. You can disenchant these for a profit. This can also be found in the Worth It add-on for the disenchanting module with Tide Spray Braces in order to make the Tide Spray Braces and then disenchant those for a profit by selling the enchanting materials on the auction house. A further way to actually maximize your gold is by disenchanting the Tide Spray Braces and then crafting those in and using those materials at a very cheap cost because of Tide Spray Linen being so cheap. You can then turn those into the enchants that you require to sell on the auction house for maximizing your, the amount of gold that you're getting instead of buying the enchanting materials off of the auction house. Another thing that people do forget with enchanting is the Tomes of Illusion. I would recommend this as they do tend to sell even now and they do and they require very little amounts of gold as an upfront investment. So if you're don't have so if you don't have the rank three in enchanting for all of the ones that you need for crafting the raid buffs. You may want to take into consideration about the Tomes of Illusions as they are relatively easy to get a hold of when it is time for crafting stuff. And the m majority of the time it is by far one of the, a very, very good way ever since Legion to craft Tomes of Illusion for additional gold when you're out and about doing your daily crafts. Now coming in last and finally, and no surprise, is number five, and that is 
alchemy. Alchemy is a great way in order to make gold and the best things at this moment in time is by doubling down on your raid potions and flasks. Now when I mean raid potions and flasks that would be like the flask of currents and all of that stuff and making sure that they are at the maximum rank for making crafting these pots at the moment in time. If you don't have a herbalist, make sure that you have it at rank 3. If you don't really care all that much, have it at rank 2, but never craft it at rank 1 because you're going to lose out on so many gold. Um, if you do have a herbalist, you can maximise the amount of gold by making sure that they have their rank 3s and 2s it all respectively on their characters. So you do a herb farm, send those herbs over to your alchemist and craft those into the necessary flasks in order to sell in the auction house. I would recommend doubling down on tank potions and healing potions or flasks, so to speak. And then just making sure that you have those on the auction house at all times, especially when I mentioned with cooking, having them stocked up, fully stocked up on the auction house upon reset day because raiders will be buying those off of the auction house and you want to make sure that you can sell them the fastest. Now alongside that, creating healing potions is a very good way in order to make gold and that is because they're relatively easy to, to produce and to make sure that you can make the maximum amount of gold you can, you can also do the herb farms in order to farm up, to farm to craft, so to speak, the necessary herbs in order to produce healing potions. Now healing potions are bought more frequently than the flasks, out of my opinion, and that being the case, it seems to be that healing potions are a very good way to go, especially on reset days, because people will just buy them in bulk, as they're relatively cheap, but the more that you can produce, is the more that you can sell, blah, 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 you can make a 10 ton of gold through healing potions. Just make sure that you don't flood the auction house and drive the price down, making you get a negative profit. So from that, another thing of note that you can also do, and what has been working very well for me, and that is the Vial of the Sands. Now the Vial of the Sands recipe is found through archeology, span and if you don't have this, this will take you a very long time in order to get hold of this recipe. This is only for the people that actually do have the Vial of the Sands recipe. I'd recommend that you actually craft this and make sure that you have at least two of those on the auction house at all times, making sure that even if one sells, you still have another on the auction house when you're out and about doing your other things. Now that being said, with the Vial of the Sands, it is one of the most lucrative ways with alchemy to make a bulk load of gold very, very fast. Now aside from that guys, that is pretty much all I have to say for the five best professions in 8.3. I'm planning on doing the Unholy Infusion, which is going to be tomorrow, and then respectively the blood infusion the next day and the frost infusion the following day after that. Aside from all that guys, have a wonderful rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video which will be tomorrow. Have an awesome day guys and I shall see you soon.